I'm Payment Simoni. I am a dual board certified facial plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. I would like to discuss fat transfer today. Fat transfer, or it's been known by other names as a fat grafting, fat injection, or a space lift, is mainly removing fat from some area in the body like the abdomen, hip, or thighs and place them into the face. A lot of people ask me why do we need to uh, put fat in the face. To answer these questions, let's look how do we age. The way we age is first the skin, the muscle, and the fat of our face starts to sag and loses elasticity. We can address that by the eyelid lift, face lift, or neck lift. That we can tighten all these areas of the face that loosened up. But on the other side, we lose volume in our face, meaning that there are areas of the face that we lose volume, which is, could be fat, muscle, or bone, and our face shrinks and becomes smaller. Some areas of the face, this is more noticeable, like underneath the eyes, we lose some fat that area, and it will create those dark circles that some people refer to. We also lose fat in the cheek area, and with this area in the beginning as we are 30 years old and we move towards the age of 40 that looks good but as we move up and lose more fat in that area our face becomes uh, older and more taunted. Other areas that we lose volume is that uh, underneath the lip area which is this area we call the marionette line. We lose actually muscle there along with fat and some bone. On the area of the nasolabial fold, we lose bone. The way we treat this area is that we inject fat into it. One of the problems we had with fat transfer, which has been there for many years, was that the result was unpredictable and the fat does not, did not last for a long time. What has happened since 1990 is that two surgeons they came up with the idea how to inject fat, how to remove the fat gently and how to inject it into the face. The problem we had for years when we were doing fat injection was that uh, we were too rough with the fat cells and we would kill the fat cells before we implanted them. Thus the result did not last for a long time. We have learned how to process the fat, how to remove the fat, and how to inject the fat so gently that the survival rate of the fat increases. Let's, what I like to do is that look at some of the examples of people who lost fat in their face. And let's look at some celebrities that we are familiar with. Let's look at Al Pacino first. And if you look at Al Pacino's face, you will see that the areas of the face that he lose uh, uh, some uh, volume is the cheek area, underneath the eye area, and then the jowl area. Also, let's look at uh, another example, Paul Newman. If you look at this example, as he ages, you will see that the face not only sags, also loses volume. The way we handle the fat uh, transfer is, or the way I like to handle the fat transfer is, ask the patient to uh, bring in pictures when they were younger. And I will lose, look those at those pictures and find out which areas of the face they have lost that fat. And I try to replace that fat back into their face. For example, if you look at this patient, I, what I have done is that I have injected the fat underneath the eyes, so her eyes looks more youthful. In the next case, I would lose, I will put the fat in the cheek area, in the lips, and I have did some liposuction of the neck area, so she would look more youthful. Only doing a facelift sometimes does not address the issue. I have patients that they per, we perform facelifts on them and they look better because their face looks tighter, but not necessarily younger. In those patients, I usually recommend fat transfer. There are other occasions the person is young enough, they do not need uh, any lift. And these cases are more common when it comes to the fat transfer that the person comes in and they are young, they just want to look better, they want to look refreshed, they don't want to look done, they don't want to look surgically operated on, and they don't want any incisions on their face. For these patients, I would recommend sometimes to put 
fat into the facial area, the areas that we lost fat, to be able to create more uh, natural and more youthful look. There are even younger patients that the reason that they lost fat in the face or they never congenitally had in certain area. For example, some people have a uh, low cheek area. Before, we used to use implant, and I still use implants for those areas of the face, but there are some people they want more natural approach to the uh, uh, implants, and we use fat as an implant. Their own fat, we take their own fat and inject it, so there's no other foreign um, areas, and this is one example of this patient that there are no foreign um, materials that are used to enhance the cheek and the jowl area. With the fat transfer, I would pre I recommend it to have it done under local anesthesia, so there is no general anesthesia needed. The person is wide awake, they've been sitting up in a chair so I can look at the face in its natural state, I take the fat already from some areas without need of any anesthesia and I inject the fat into the face. There is no cuts involved and the downtime is about three to four days. About the fat survival, it depends on the person. The healthier the person is, um, if the person doesn't smoke, uh, if the person uh, have a good nutrition, these people usually they have a higher rate of fat. Uh, a success, a fat transfer success, and a, a fat survival. Uh, on the opposite, patients who have uh, medical problems or they smoke and they are older, uh, they have a less um, fat survival. But all in all, it doesn't make much of a difference because this procedure can be done in multiple times. My happiest patients are the ones who had it done at least twice or three times and they are feel uh, that they get the result that they want. It's very difficult uh, to get the home run on the first time, but as you do it multiple times, and it doesn't have to be done close to each other. Some people get it in six months or a year after the first treatment, they get the second or the third treatment of the fat transfer.